Welcome! This is the AI denoiser feature video of File Render. In this video, you will learn how we integrated the AI denoiser into File Render. This will be an upcoming feature in Subscription Drop 1 of File Render. Let's start here with the scene I got from the internet. Uh, to the end of the video, we will show you the link where you can download the scene if you're interested as well. So this is the sponsor scene um, that is used very often to test GI global illumination. And uh, we are going to use this scene and we are using it in active shade mode. So that means we are going to have uh, real time updates and uh, if you're interested what hardware we're using, we're using here Quadro P6000 CPU and also our uh, CPUs as well. So let's just start the rendering. Uh, keep in mind, this is a live recording on the same PC. So recording is happening at the same time as rendering. So there might uh, be a little bit of a delay or a hiccup here in the viewport because I'm recording at the same time on the same hardware. Here we have our first rendering and you can see the denoise is already active. Let me turn off the denoiser here just with this little click there and you see all the noise in the image. And now with denoiser, you can see it's doing an amazing job. We uh, purposely set the noise level very high, so usually you wouldn't render a final image uh, with that setting. But let's just have a look with this uh, relatively high noise. And this scene also has a motion blur turned on. So we are using really hefty stuff here. Keep in mind also the updates you see here. This is including motion blur. So let's just move to a frame where we have some heavy motion blur going on. And you can see as the denoiser kicks in. So we have implemented it that every pass gets a denoiser pass. And without the AI denoiser, you will see all the noise in the image. And keep in mind, this is the AI denoiser uh, NVIDIA is talking about that's uh, making now the news that uses artificial intelligence to analyze the image areas, to analyze the noise, to detect where is noise and how an image should look without noise. So um, here in this area, we can see when we turn off the denoiser, how much noise is there and how amazing this uh, AI denoiser is able to remove nearly all of the noise in the images without destroying the details. So you all still have the de texture detail in there. So it's a pretty amazing uh, job the uh, denoiser does. And our integration into File Render was just this little button you see there. Turn it on and off and that's it. You actually ha don't have to care at all about the denoiser if it's on or off. And it works perfectly with motion blur. It takes everything into account. And as you can see here, it's working in active shade mode really nicely. And that's also a good thing because you see now very fast how the scene or the image looks like. Let's move on to a different scene now. Here we have an added uh, difficulty level. We have motion blur and depth of field and highly detailed textures on the floor. So this, this velvet structure on the floor is really a mean thing to do because it's a very fine detailed texture. So this for sure will give us some trouble with the denoising. But First, let's have a look. And you can see we only use 32 samples, which is way too low for that. But let's have a look how low our sampling right now is. That's the actual image the denoiser gets to do its denoising. And for this low amount of samples, have a look again. It's amazing how much it actually can do with no information at all. It recovers really a lot of information there. I'll increase the level now to 100 passes. So 100 samples per pixel. Uh, we can see the uh, uh, floor gets now more detailed. So it represents better the actual uh, texture, but still it's not enough. 
As I said, it's a complicated, complex uh, situation. It's a lot of noise in that picture, including uh, getting the, the texture nice and detailed. So now with 200 samples, it takes a little bit to, to render those samples. But you can see now the floor texture is getting better and better. And while I'll turn it on and off, it's still calculating in the background. So it uh, enhances with each pass. And you can see we are getting there. And now let's increase it one more time and just have it render through the 300 passes. And there you will see <coughs> how the AI denoiser does its magic. So while I do the on and off, it's still uh, calculating in the background. So you can see now we are getting to a really nice and smooth result. And the AI denoiser is really removing all the noise and creating a smooth image. And look at the depth of field. It's really catching the depth of field really nice. And we are getting really noise, nice noise removal here in the image. And once more, this is just to show you how uh, this denoiser works. And as you can see, the denoiser itself is very fast. Let's move on to a different scene. Let's up uh, the level a little bit more. We are going to use a um, sample scene that has a noise texture. So this is usually something really tough. We're using now a really pure noise texture on the metal parts. And we're using depth of field again. And uh, we are now going to do this in the production rendering mode. So you, same deal like in the active shape mode. You just turn on denoise and that's it. But I want to keep the noise image. So I added a um, complete render element layer. And as the rendering goes, um, the first few passes you will see it's all blurry and mushy and all this. This is what we expect because the noise level is extreme. So that's the image we have here. And keep in mind, we have a depth of field going on here. And on these metal plates, we actually have a noise texture, a noise structure that gives us this metallic uh, carved look. And even with the original samples, it takes a long time until you start to see this uh, metal structure showing up on these objects. And the same goes for the bump map on the golden metal parts. Um, but you start to see pretty early with 130 samples, 135, you already start to see something. So the AI denoiser is already seeing things we can't see in our original image because right now when you just look at the noise, there is no structure visible to the uh, human eye. But the artificial intelligence already is able to pick out, ah, there's something going on on the metal and it's creating that. And when you look in the front to the front part where the screw is, that's also in the um, depth of field area. So that's blurry. So we get this blurry thing into the upper part of the metal. So the uh, AI denoiser actually captured this really early where the depth of field is uh, and which is real noise and which is not real noise. So the rendering gets now better and better. So we are approaching now, I think, a, a case where we can say, okay, that looks really, really good without uh, noise. So let's switch back. And you can see with around 300 samples, we are already there. And all is smooth and nice without noise. So we get this really nice depth of field. And keep in mind, uh, you might also have some uh, compression artifacts of the video. So I don't know how good this will transfer, but I can tell you this looks now really, really good. And we are now reaching uh, 350 samples. So. An amazing job this new AI denoiser is uh, doing in Fire Render. It will be available soon when we release our uh, subscription drop one. It will be available for all Fire Render users on a subscription. And I hope you enjoyed this video.
We are still uh, enhancing and, and debugging, but uh, what we see so far is really promising and it should help us in speeding up the render time and it should help you for sure in speeding up your render time. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any uh, questions, visit our webpage, visit us on Facebook or just go to our webpage and leave a comment.